In this presentation, we'll look at abstraction layers in computer system design. This corresponds to section 1.2 of the MANO text. Design is the process of understanding all the relevant constraints for a problem and arriving at a solution that balances those constraints. When we think about computer systems hardware, we typically want to balance things like functionality, speed, power consumption, and of course, cost. Modern system designers typically work in a top-down fashion which means starting at a high level and then working our way down to the design of individual components. A competing approach is bottom-up design, where designers piece together systems to give rise to more complex systems. In computer science, we use abstraction to think about the overall idea and to remove unnecessary implementation details about a component so that a designer can focus on the aspects of the component that matter for the problem that's being solved. The figure on the right shows the typical layers of abstraction in modern computer systems, from the very detailed operation of transistor circuits, all the way up to the more abstract implementation and algorithms. In this model, the lower layers can be modified without changing the layers above them. Our computer organization course here at the University of Hawaii at Hilo deals with logic gates, register transfers, and a small bit of the microarchitecture level. While our architecture course focuses on the microarchitecture level and instruction set architecture level. With the use of abstraction, design has shifted to higher layers over the years. Like most design in computer science, we start from the description of the problem and end with the working system. While the design process depends a bit on the layer, the authors have identified a general design process. Let's take a look. At the level of designing a circuit, we need to write a specification for its behavior. This could be textual, or we could use a hardware description language, such as Verilog or VHDL. For formulation, when we're working at the circuit level, we can define the truth table for the circuit, or a set of Boolean equations that define the relationship between its inputs and its outputs. At the circuit level, we want to minimize the number of logic gates required. We can use tools such as KMAPS or the Quine McCluskey algorithm to do this. We may need to optimize several times with different techniques during this step. In step four, we transform the logic diagram to a new diagram based on the available implementation technologies. Oftentimes, we use NAND and NOR gates. Last but not least, we verify the correctness of the final design in order to verify that it meets the tasks that we gave in the specification. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the LaLima site for assignments, presentations, and even more fun.